Well, this is an interesting turn of events to say the least. How the tables have turned, all hell has broken loose this week as Manchester City and Pep Guardiola have been slapped with a two-year ban from the Champions League and all your way for competitions and a £25 million fine. After serious breaches of financial fair play, I mean, who saw that one coming? No one could have predicted that. I think it's fair to say their owners are out for blood, literally hiring every single lawyer in the world right now to fight this case. They're going to do whatever it takes. I have all the money in the world, but for now, nothing is official. However, in the meantime, we're going to cause as much chaos as possible and rain our terror upon the Etihad in honor of a major shift at the club that will most likely go down in history. We're hoping the citizens crash straight back down to reality before the oil money came in. It's straight up going to be the polar opposite of a rebuild and it's going to go absolutely insane. And come on, you all knew this was coming. Man City, get out of the Champions League. You don't belong there anymore. A two year ban. You're not going to be seeing European competition for a while now, and you're going to feel the pain of that. Manchester United are going to be replacing you lot. And you know what? No, you're not even going to sneak into the Europa League. That is not on my watch. We're just going to put in Chelsea there. I will not stop at anything in order to keep you out of European competitions. Don't even think about it. And just to kick it off, we're pretty much living in an alternate reality where Pep Guardiola is being held ransom as Manchester City manager. The owners aren't letting him go. He's not allowed to leave. And his first call to action after hearing the news is, you know what, he's got a transfer list, every single player at the club, everyone is on the chopping block, no one is surviving, we've got to pay a lot of lawyers fees, we've got to pay a lot of legal fees as well, we've got to make up the money somehow, everyone is going straight onto that transfer list, whether you like it or not, it's happening, no one is surviving, I mean Pep is a savage at this point, and understandably pretty much every single player is a bit pissed off with us, I'm not gonna lie okay then, Claudio Bravo has come back with absolute savagery, I'm I'm glad you've decided to sell me. Haven't been all that keen to play here, and I think a move will be best for everyone. You know what? Good riddance, mate. Get out of here. Now, the real question is, how long is it going to take us to absolutely destroy everything Manchester City has built before we get sacked? That is going to be the real question. Before the board pull the plug, we're going to have to do as much damage as possible and trying to get away with it under the covers. It is going to be one hell of a task, but I'm up for it, lads. You know what, Kevin De Bruyne? You can have a one power release clause. Let's slap it on. That is a bargain if I do say so myself. And you know what? Now that I've had a think about it, this squad is just a bit too thick for my liking. We're going to start releasing a few players just like that man there. Daniel Grimshaw, get out the club. Ika Pozo as well. Oh, we've already released too many players. Damn it. Some people just want to watch the world burn. I'm not one of them, but I am having fun here. The Man City board have clocked onto us right there. Okay, that is one strike on our name. They're getting starting to get suspicious now. Let's see what else we can conjure up. Every single player of value right now has a one pound release clause. That is right. All the players that have any decent value to them, you know what? Every single team in the world, pick them up for a pound. It is the best bargain you could think of. We couldn't do much about the players on loan, but hey, are they going to get the same treatment once they come back or if we last that long anyway? To be honest, I don't even think a 33-year-old Scott Carson that just warms the bench is even worth a pound. But hey, we've given him a release clause just so he feels special, part of the gang. So the board are expecting us to win the league, the Champions League and the FA Cup. They want us to do the treble. In my eyes, that is the exact opposite of what I want to achieve. I'm aiming for relegation. I'm aiming for a relegation dogfight this year in the Prem. And here it is in all its glory, the brand new look starting 11 for Manchester City going into this season. We have got a star-studded lineup here with Claudio Bravo up top. Carson and Bazunu will accompany him at the front three. And then we have the likes of Doyle, Burnaby and Pozo in the midfield three. At the back, we've got Howard Bellis Garcia. We're trusting in the youth here. We've got Dionko at right back, Discarad at left back and then in goal is the five foot seven Raheem Sterling. No one is getting past that brick wall in goal. I'm telling you now. So into our first game of the season as Manchester City manager. Let's see how this brand new literally invincible squad is looking. Okay it's a 3-0 defeat in the first game. All right we got some improvements to do but it's a start. He tried it. <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? Straight away. Oh we were just getting started having fun weren't we? We've set De Bruyne's release clause to a fraction of his value boys. All Alright then, I see how it is Man City, but I've got a trick up my sleeve. Don't you worry lads, we are returning. There is no way 
they are firing us without being punished. Here we are at Aston Villa, but we'll be right back at Man City. I'm telling you, we are not going down without a fight today, ladies and gentlemen. This is just the start of our reign. All right, we're back at Man City. Doesn't look like much has changed. We're going to apply it for the job again. We're going to let the magic happen again, boys. Thanks to the power of the PC, we are back at the Etihad. All right, just as we left it, let's see if anything changed. Did they actually change the release clauses on all the players? We'll have to have a look. And no, they didn't. They didn't even change the release clauses. So what was the point of firing me then? None of our work has been undone besides, you know, them winning a couple of games in the preseason. But hey, there is our classic vintage starting 11 that we conjured up earlier. And why not? As a celebration of our return, it was a short little stint away. But now we are time back in time for this Porto game. And yeah, we took an L. Morega with a double. What players were you going to sign throughout your tenure at Man City? And you know what? I've had some deep thought. We've scouted the best player in the world, Mr. Sir Jesse Lingard. You know what? This is going to be the swap deal of the century. Sergio Aguero for Jesse Lingard. What are United going to say? And they're going to accept that straight off the bat. And we're getting the pickup of the season, Jay Lings. I mean, he's a workhorse, lads. Come on. High attack and work rate, high defensive. He is just the man we need. Welcome to Manchester, Jesse Lingard. I don't know what the media is on. Man City bag a bargain. I don't know what about a Aguero-Lingard swap deal screams bargain, but hey, if the media want to say that, they can go ahead and do it. You know what? He's going to be our striker. He's going to lead the line. He's going to lead this Man City destruction revolution. And would you look at that? The good news just keeps on coming. Let's get it in there. PSG has paid the one pound release clause for Raheem Sterling, and now the domino effect is going to start happening because one by one, players are going to be poached from every single club around the world. And there we go, Raheem Sterling. He's off to France. He's joining up with Mbappe and Neymar in Ligue 1. PSG has come calling, and that is one down. We've got a few more to go. Now, I'm going to tread lightly here. I know allegedly something was going on with the Wilfred Boney transfer that led to the breaching of financial fair play. We're going to recreate that situation here in FIFA 20. But you know what? This time, not buying him for his 10 million pound release clause. We're going to spend every single bit of cash we have on him. 200 million pounds for Wilfred Bonny. We are throwing everything, the kitchen sink at him. Signed the top player. You bet we have EA right now as Al Ilitad. I didn't even know he was out at that club. But anyway, they accept 200 million pounds for him. And we've turned to the Youth Academy in order to, you know, burn a bit of cash in the transfer budget. That is too much money. I don't want Man City having a lot of money in the bank. So we're going to set up a scouting network. You know what? Let's send him to China. Hopefully he comes back with some good talents for City to set up in the future. Hopefully he comes back safe as well. Don't know how we're going to convince the financial department or even financial fair play on what has been going on right here because we are deeply in the red right now. We're about 200 million pounds in debt and we're just only adding fuel to the fire. And right after Sterling, it's another Englishman. It is John Stones off to Roma for one pound. His release clause has been activated. And it's another one that bites the dust. All right, we are getting through them thick and fast right now. It is David Silva off to Real Madrid for one million pounds. For one pound, I should say, not even one million. What am I talking about? His release clause has been activated and he is back over to the homeland. And would you take a look at that? It is Kevin De Bruyne's lookalike, Alexander Zinchenko. He is moving over to Juventus for one pound as well. Real Madrid complete that David Silva signing. That is probably the smartest pickup they've had in a while. And this Man City squad is just getting torn apart limb from limb. What must they be thinking right now? Selling four players would most likely get us out of that 200 million pound debt, but hey, they got that one power release clause on them. That is going to be nowhere near enough, lads. Well then, trader confirmed. Bernardo Silva makes the switch over to Manchester United for one pound. Release clause activated once more. I don't know how long this club could last doing all this. We are testing the waters right now. We are pushing career mode to its limits. Let's let's make everyone angry. The time isn't right. Wilfred Bonny, Pep Guardiola, Hola out for blood today. How lucky must these clubs be feeling right now? Picking up this quality of players for one pound only. I mean, we're the most generous club in the world right now. Every single manager must be loving what we're doing. Well, I completely forgot, but now that Sterling's off to PSG, it will be five foot seven Phil Foden in goal for us. And it's our first Premier League game of the season. Up against West Ham away from home. And it's going to be a 4-0 demolition by the Hammers. Up against Spurs now on our first game at home at the empty hat and it is a 5-0 wreckage. And to combat the Manchester City board from firing us every single other day and just causing so much hassle with this video, we're just going to have a 99 manager rating. I should have done it from the start. Let's see where this train wreck will end with this 99 manager rating. We are literally feeling invincible right now. And the 
the walking injury is off to Olympic Leon. You guessed it, his release clause was activated and Olympic Leon win the race for Benjamin Mendy. The 25 year old left back who probably is more relevant on Twitter than he is on the football pitch is finally departing the club. I'd honestly be surprised. Here we go. All right. Fernandinho's release clause been activated by Juventus. They love an aging player. And this is what we're left with after the summer transfer window. One hour to go on deadline day. We spent 200 million pounds. We lost Aguero to Manchester United and also Bernardo Silva. But hey, look on the bright side, guys. We made a nine pound profit. And that was definitely a transfer window to remember. I mean, we got a lot of signings done. We got a lot of transfer business done. Now it's time to sim to January to see if any more release clauses are going to be activated and how this city squad is going to bounce back. The destruction of Manchester City is well and truly underway and I'm loving every single second of it. And not only did Kevin De Bruyne request a transfer, but he also had his release clause activated by none other than Real Madrid and he is off to the Bernabeu for one pound, another major loss for Man City. Yeah, we didn't get fired for offering Pozo, a 58 rated Spaniard, 662k a week. The one pound release clause, which he still has, you know, the board hasn't done anything about it. They've just left it there and we're back here to leave it as well. The morale has plummeted, our manager rating has plummeted and I just want to take time to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the and just as you thought it couldn't get worse, the Man City board have clocked on that there is some unrest in the dressing room. They've had multiple reports. Oh my gosh, that morale has tanked, man. That is not looking good. And how all of a sudden did we get 175 million pounds back? Are you kidding me? How did, how did this money just magically appear in our transfer budget again? And we're back in the green. It is third time lucky right now. Another decision terminated. We've been fired again, but hey, take a look at this. We're off at the Man City job again ladies and gentlemen the magic of the pc live editor we are back at it again you can't escape us man city we're just the ex-girlfriend that keeps on coming back you know what the show is going on we're just continuing on with it and the man city losing streak continues just headlines you love to see and come the end of january we've got a few transfers to report on we've had a few more departures like ilkay gundawan off to bayern munich for one pound they've activated his release clause and dimeric laporte over switching sides to liverpool for one pound as well. Is it just me or is this what the table looked like at launch for career mode when the game was absolutely broken? You had big teams getting relegated. I'm getting PTSD. I'm getting flashbacks of that period that I never want to go through again. Man City at the bottom of the table. It harks back some early memories of the broken FIFA 20 career mode experience. Some more drama continues to go down after the transfer window. Rodri's handed in probably his seventh transfer request of the season. Edison's had enough as well and the release clause for Walker's been paid for Bayern Munich. This ship is sinking faster than the Titanic and our manager rating is still perfect. Handman. Oh my gosh. We have to sign this guy. This is a signing we need to make. Manhan. Okay, that is going to be a difficult one to say, but Manhan, the 16-year-old Chinese talent, welcome to the club. Just for that name, you're going to be in our youth academy. And he's earned his role. He could have a 10 overall rating. I don't. It doesn't matter to me. Manhan is definitely going to join up with this squad. He is going to be a Manchester City legend by the end of this video. Manhand, the legacy of this club rests on your shoulders. You are the shining light, the last savior this club needs. And this is going to be a pivotal moment in destroying Manchester City. Is he going to be the savior, the light at the end of the tunnel? We're going to have to find out. With a name like that, anything's possible. So Manhand, good luck. And with all that being said, after all that commotion, the demise of Manchester City is finally confirmed, finishing rock bottom of the Premier League. 10 points, and they get the wooden spoon. They're going down to the champ championship for next season. Luton Town away. I cannot wait. Meanwhile, it is the likes of Liverpool, Spurs, Manchester United, and Arsenal basking in glory and probably having a Man City relegation party right now. Unfortunately, Manhand could only manhandle one assist in six appearances, but there is a bright future ahead of this Chinese superstar. And Jesse Lingard, that is pretty realistic stats, I guess. 47 appearances, zero goals, zero assists. The form he's carried over from Manchester United. Instead of the clean sheet stats there, we should have successful Instagram Instagram post for the likes of Jesse Lingard. That'd probably be in the thousands by now. Bang, bang, bang.
And it's the likes of Edison, Rodri, and of course, Kyle Walker joining Bayern Munich. They are just reaping the rewards right now of these one power release clauses. Good on them. And it looks like it doesn't matter that we're in the championship. It doesn't matter that UEFA are suing us for all our money. It is still 355 million pounds in the transfer budget. Like, how are they coming up with this money? The oil money is just unlimited right now. And this is definitely not what I wanted to see coming into this season. And you know what? We're back on that releasing grind. We're going to release Moreno from his contract. Daniel Alzani, mate. Sorry, you're not welcome here. A fellow Aussie, you're going for 1.5 million. Those are all the players we can release. There's still 28 players here at the club, surprisingly. And you know what? I've had enough of this money. All this oil money is going to go to the American goalkeeper, Zach Steffen. We're just going to bump this up. Let's see how much. We're going to be left with 25 pounds. That is more the kind of money I want to see. 7 million pounds, 7.8 million pounds a week. For Zach Steffen, he's obviously going to accept that in a heartbeat. I know we're probably going to get fired for that, but hey, £25 in the budget. That is exactly what I want to see. Decision terminated. We all know the story here. We're going straight back at it again. They can tr throw everything at us. Try it. Try me, Man City. We're just going to be going straight back to you every single time. And you guessed it. We're right back at it again. Our transfer list is looking plentiful right now. Oh, no. This is the news that is going to break all our hearts right now. Jesse Lingard's release clause has been activated by Aston Villa for one pound. He's been our best player. 47 games, no goals, no assists. And he's going to bring that form directly to Aston Villa this season. And that is a major loss for the squad, lad. Farewell. You've served us well, but it's time to move on. I said, what's it? Bing, bing, bing. And thank God, finally, these release clauses are getting activated. I don't know how long they're going to last, but they've lasted quite a while. And Fenerbahce have snapped on Riyad Mahrez right there. One pound for him. That is more than enough. And he is going straight to the Turkish League. But after that, it was Jacques Cancelo, Eric Garcia, Burnaby, Herrera, and another Garcia off out of the club. We're just trying to minimize this squad to its bare bones. And we are succeeding in doing so. This is how the team is looking. Obviously, Handman is up top. And somehow, we still have Gabriel Jesus and Sane. And also Angelino that haven't had their release clauses activated yet. But surely, that is about to change. I am just reveling in this. We're back at it again with our old tricks. And we've only got an injured Gabriel Jesus and Leroy Sane for 51 months. I mean, there's nothing to laugh about. If that injury happened in real life, that'd be heartbreaking. But this is just a little career mode PC edit slash hack. The two best players that have yet to have their release clause activated are going to be out for more than two years. Here we have it. It is mission accomplished. Manchester City are headed for League One, the third division getting relegated with 25 points. And it's straight to the third division we go. And our extreme reign of terror continues. And let me guess, the return of the oil money, the board think throwing money at the situation will help, but no. Okay, we got half a billion pounds in the transfer budget. Like how? We're a League One club, guys. Come on. Oh no, our squad size is too small to release. I just figured that out now. And no wonder why no one is getting the move they desired away from the club. We can't literally let go of any other players. And just for the fun of it, we broke the world record transfer fee for Lee Ji Ho, the worst player in FIFA 20 with a 49 rating. And there you go, for 443.5 million pounds, we splashed all the oil money at this club. They must be loving it right now. Itchy on United. The club sounds like it's been named after a Pokemon, but nevertheless, the Korean will join us. He's unhappy that the management is poor. And we've only gone and dropped a cheeky 90 million pounds on the Chinese hitman striker, Sean Huan Huan. What a signing. It was a 53 rated striker. He's going to be another star up top with Manhan. And just in case you're wondering, we managed to swap Leroy Sane for O'Hara at Manchester United and Chupo Moting for Gabriel Jesus. So that's how they're not at the club anymore. Obviously, we got fired again and we're back now. So all of our transfer history got erased. So I can't really prove that, but that's basically what happened. And finally, I think our work here is done. Manchester City relegated to the fourth division left to rot in lower leagues of English football. What was once a mega giant of English football and now they are sitting in the fourth tier. League 2 has come calling. I don't even think the oil money could get them out of this situation. This is absolutely terrible. Our manager rating sits out of 22. We'll see if this city board could take them out of this mess 
and return them to the Premier League. But I think uh, the damage has been done and it's going to be hard coming back from this. And finally, they've had enough. They've pulled the plug and now we've turned it off. We can't go back to Manchester City. We're going to be at another club. Barry's going to take us up. We're not going to lead them into any more demolition. They've already done that in real life. Our job is done at Manchester City. Now it's time to see, could they get promoted back to the third division? Doesn't look like it so far. 10 games in, they're on zero points. We're going to see them to the end of the season and see if they could turn it around. And that is how they are going to finish off their first season in League 2. They've turned it around, finishing in 10th, not finishing dead last anymore. City, I know it's going to take a long time for them to get back to their best. They're restarting in the fourth tier, and you've got to feel sorry for them now. All of our hard work has led to their demise, and you've got to kind of feel bad. Nevertheless, they have all the money in the world, and I'm sure they can fix it in due course. And that will be that for the video. If you guys did enjoy a bit of a different one today, make sure to slap the like button down below. Hit subscribe and turn those notifications on for more FIFA 20 career mode content. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Also, make sure to comment down below what other content you'd love to see come towards the channel. I've been BCHD. As always, have a nice day and I'll catch you all in the very next video.